welcome to another Linux Shell Tutorial 2017. And today we're going to be looking at getting a nice little visual of your weather forecast in your shell. I made my text a little bit smaller in my shell today just because uh, to get this to display properly. But I'm going to be using Curl, uh, which is a program that is used to download stuff from the internet, to output uh, basically this. So this is a website, uh, WTTR.in, and when you go there, it gives you this text-based graphical output of uh, your upcoming weather. It automatically knows where you are based on your connection to the internet. And But this here is um, actually generated, if I control U there, uh, you can see it's HTML with a lot of CSS to format it properly. Um, which obviously is not going to display properly in the shell, but uh, this website knows if you're connecting from curl, it knows that and outputs your format in a format that displays it uh, in your shell properly. So uh, curl, and uh, you can do HTTP, uh, you know, the full address like that, or you can just do WTTR.in, and when you do that, you get that same output that you got in your web browser now in a full text format using the right uh, escape codes to um, get your color formatting here. And uh, if you look down here at the bottom, it gives you a little more information. By default, it knows that I'm in Naples, Florida. Um, I could do the same command, but add sla uh, forward slash, um, what's that, tilde? No, yeah, tilde. Uh, and then the name of a location, so I can say Naples here and hit enter, but you'll notice for me, when I do that, it automatically defaults to Naples, Italy, uh, which is not where I live. Uh, but remember, there are different weather stations around where you live, so if I run that again, and you look, you can see that uh, here it says that it's 91 to 102 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, and the wind is going uh, nine miles per hour, I guess that's uh, in the northwest uh, direction. Uh, but actually, I live in Collier County. I actually live right outside of Naples. But there's a lot of weather stations in here. But if I can say Collier plus County, you'll see instead of 91 to 200, uh, 102, it says 93 to 104. So it's just a different weather station. It actually gives you the GPS location of the weather station that it's using. Um, but that's it. It gives you you know a nice little forecast. It's very uh, visual. If you go to... Uh, their GitHub page. So it's up on GitHub, and I'll try remember to put links to this in the description of the video. Uh, they actually list out, you know, a few more of their commands, uh, and you can get the code there. Obviously, I guess if you wanted to run it on your own server, and um, there's even directions on how to get things in a PNG format. So if you wanted a a image of it and not only do that they also give you directions on how to convert the output to a PNG yourself or, or I guess convert it from a JPEG to a PNG or from PNG to a JPEG but there's instructions here on doing that sort of thing very fun website very useful if you're working in a shell and you want to see the weather rather than just obviously you can pull text-based weather from anywhere but to get this nice visual with the Sun and the clouds and things highlighted in, in colors uh, very nice so I thought I'd share that with you. And actually tomorrow I'm going to show you another feature of the same website. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description there. You can uh, find all my videos and search through them from both my channels. Uh, please uh, also think about supporting over at patreon.com forward slash mylux1000 or through the PayPal link on my website. As always, I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.